Hey friends, welcome to a productive day in my life. Starting out at 7 a.m., I wake up and I make my bed, of course. In my last video, I talked a little bit about how keeping my space around me clean helps me stay productive. And that's actually scientifically proven to decrease stress and anxiety, helping you stay productive longer. So I always make sure to clean up my space. Making my little twin bed in my family home at the age of 25 does send me into a little inner crisis every single morning though. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be straight up about that. I joke about this with my friends all the time. Starting a business isn't the most lucrative career path, at least for me at the start. So I am really thankful that I can live with my family, but you know, I actually recently was just kind of, I think thinking about the fact that I am 25 and that I feel like I need to be not living at home recently. And I looked at the rent prices and it made me want to cry. It's definitely a crazy spot that Canada and I think most of the world is in right now. I actually read an article yesterday about how Canada's household debt is now the highest in the G7. So good luck everyone, we got this. I mean, life just looks a bit different for us and our parents at times, but I always, you know, talk to my friends and everything. It makes me feel better that we're at least all in this together. We just gotta get a little creative with how we make the most of life and, you know, the way we set our goals without beating ourselves up too much. Anyways, let's not start off the day talking about debt. I don't even want it to be negative. I think every generation has different issues. We gotta stay positive about how we approach them. It's funny though, I was actually going to film myself chatting with you guys when I was getting ready this morning, but I realized I am not a person until I have coffee in the morning and even the idea of talking to a camera, let alone like people in person, I just can't do it. I wanna be that girl. I wanna do the Alex Earl like makeup tutorial, let's get ready together vibe, but it just wasn't me at 7 a.m. So this is all you guys got with my voiceover over and I'm sorry about that, but hopefully this works. So I finish off with just spraying my face with some setting spray, brushing my teeth, and then on to jewelry. For my outfit today, I decided to keep it comfortable, but also a little dressed up because I find when I dress up a little bit working from home, it does make me feel more productive and for longer. And then I made myself my coffee to go, which I always do every morning and then go for my walk, which is probably my favorite part about my morning every day. Good morning. We are just on my daily walk right now. I love doing this in the morning. You can hear all the birds and everything. But yeah, I just like to do this so I can kind of get myself in like a happy headspace before I start the work day. Sometimes I list out things that I'm grateful for on my walk too, so I talk to myself like this. I'm probably look like a crazy person, but that's all right. But yeah, it's actually funny doing this right now. It makes me think about, I used to do this before I was like vlogging or anything on my Snapchat. I would like save video diaries, like messages to myself. I don't know if any of you guys do that as well, but let me know if you do down below. I would show you guys them if they weren't so personal, <laughs> but it's kind of fun to have it to like look back on. So in the morning, you know, I may not be like filming it, but it's almost like a video diary to myself, just the way I like talk to myself. I don't bring any music. I just go in silence. I take my coffee and I go on a walk. Today's coffee, it's instant coffee, but I got it from this like Korean Japanese mart nearby my house. So good. It's like a vanilla, French vanilla coffee. So but yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up my walk. I'm like watching a little bumblebee over here right now and then head home and get started my day. non-negotiables which I try to do every morning is to write in the five minute journal and this has been really helping me with just getting into a positive headspace as I mentioned at the start of this video I go into these little spirals when I'm thinking about am I where I'm supposed to be at the age of 25 but listening to things I'm grateful for every morning and the things I'm looking forward to it helps me be a more positive person especially when I go into the work day then I create my to-do list I'm using the quick ticks method which I talked about in my last video which I'll link here if you guys haven't checked it out and I just list like the main little things I have to do the tasks and then the big projects to keep in mind and that also helps me just really be prepared for my day and know what's coming my way then i did some edits for a website client this one's almost done i believe we'll see what the client says for the next review but just fixing up little things here and there and that kept me pretty occupied for most of the morning so i was just doing some website edits for a client just fixing that up and then today i actually posted my how to be productive youtube video so i just posted like a story for that on my instagram little guy here focuses yeah 
anyways so i posted that up today and i don't know like i would love to hear your guys feedback if you haven't watched that video already i'll link it here i it's funny it's like so disheartening sometimes i love making youtube videos which is why i've kept making them for years even though the growth has been very very slow um just because i enjoy it but i feel like the views are dropping actually lately and i'm like are my videos getting worse i don't know i feel like my editing is getting better but maybe it's just the content itself it's just like not super interesting because i don't know how to really find a niche i just I do like editing and so that's like i think what's kept me motivated to keep posting all these years but anyways that youtube video went live today which i think is good before this video so that's like a how to be productive video and then today you guys joining me on my productive day in my life and kind of showing those tips being used in a day where i'm actually like living those tips out in real life but yeah i'm not expecting like a massive return on it but just to see some kind of growth would actually help me stay probably more motivated anyways um i have to hop on a call soon for my part-time work and do that this afternoon so i can't show you guys that part of this video but i'm actually feeling a little under the weather i was gonna make like myself a healthy lunch but now i'm just kind of craving ramen not super healthy but i just want comfort food right now so i really hope i start feeling better this afternoon i might take i have these like pills that like fight colds like if you take them soon enough it kind of curbs it you won't really get that sick so i'm gonna take one of those as well and just make myself some ramen hop into some part-time work and then once that part-time work is done for the day i can show you guys what else i'm up to but um, i'm hoping i feel a bit better by then but we will see this has not been quite the productive day that i had planned for i'm feeling quite under the weather i didn't show you guys i got kind of lost in work but after work i had soup i'm having some green juice now i'm gonna read a little bit it's nice and sunny out at least but i definitely like didn't get the things i wanted to get done today like i was gonna go get some clothes tailored because last time i tried they ended up being shut yeah so i think I'm gonna take it easy tonight. It's interesting too, actually, now that I'm just sharing my thoughts. I posted the productivity, like how to be productive video. And it's funny, I put so much effort into it, but it doesn't get a lot of views. But then I posted a short just on like the off chance. Like I didn't put a lot of effort into it and it got so many more views. And I always wonder like, how do these short form content compared to long form? I've always preferred long form content personally because I like to put it on while I'm working on an easy task or like cleaning and stuff. I like having a long form content playing it's not like i dislike short form but i definitely you know took my time getting into it now and i don't make it very often but i think i should more because it seems to just make more of a reach towards more people so i'm interested to hear what your guys's thoughts are on what you prefer like short form or long form content for me as well but yeah other than that it's been a quiet day i'm like just sitting on the deck with my dog here I'm gonna read a book finish my green juice i think i'm gonna end off the video around here because i don't have a lot else to share with you guys today sorry that this productive day in my life ended up being like an almost like i'm getting sick kind of day in my life but these things happen so with that yeah i'm just gonna read my book for a little bit